Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we finally beat, uh, the boss from, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember his name at the moment. But anyways, we can't, uh, we've already, oh my god, I'm having such a terrible time, guys. Let's just jump into this. What I meant to say is that we've already conquered the boss. And, um, we're done with Dragon Roost Island. So now, we only just have to, um, defeat these guys, but, hey, look what we got, the Book of Baba Seed. This is a source of, or, source of evil plant magic, maybe you can find someone to cook it up, yep. And so, we can steal some of those, it's very helpful. Um, then we just have to keep fighting them. Man, these guys are so annoying. There you go. There we go. Alright. Alright. Just making sure my shield works for this next one. I guess that doesn't work now. Um, let's go ahead and use this. If you reflect it back at him, then he'll die. That's just how it works. It's good to get rid of those guys. Um, aside from that, we're ultimately trying to make it into the tree area. What is that? Is there a... No, there's nothing over there. That's special. So let's just go up here. Go up here. Go up here. There you go. Kinda helps. Anyways, what we want to do is freaking use this. And then we'll swim across to the safer water area. And go inside here. I just love the music here. It's pretty awesome. Um, so later we'll come back for one of these. Actually, let's go ahead and use our... F uh, well, we can always wait until the end. Yeah, we'll just wait till the end. Uh, we'll be coming back here for a firefly though, because you'll see why. Anyways, let's just get up here. There's plenty of fire or fireflies to go around. But anyways. Suddenly, we got acne on this poor guy. He's like, what the heck? It's easier though. I guess we have to pull them off one by one. Maybe not. I'll try bumming into the tree. But that's what I tried doing. There you go. I don't know what he just said. Make no 
I must apologize, I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. A longing caused the ac or ancient tongue to pass my lips. And the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Digna Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Yes. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess? I see, I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned, Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Crox, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let yourselves, or let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. This part's pretty cool. And like, who is that? <sighs> what do you call yourself? Belmar? Well then, Belmar. These are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. I guess... It was a tree that was talking? I don't know. Um, as it happens, you have just come in time for a ceremony that the Kor ugh, Koroks, but once every year, or hold, oh my god. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold, but once every year. It's about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but as if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? We are not so great. Thank you, Tree. Something terrible has happened. It is Makar. Makar! Makar, really? What is the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. <laughs> no, no, it's not that great, Dick. Oh, Deku. Great Deku Tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. Uh oh. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but still, Makar flew above the bit or Forbidden Woods, and as soon as he drew close, close to it, Malicia little Makar. Belmar, you have heard all of this. The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to the evil beasts. Now it seems they took in the child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. King of Reliance likely expects great deeds of you. This is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask you or ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But the great Deku tree, people cannot fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Belmar, would you guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children? Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Which is pretty awesome, because we get an item here. I'll just sprout one little leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Forgive me, Belmar, but could you climb up my crown and get the leaf from up there? All right. So now we have to climb all the way this, all the way up on this freaky guy's crown. Um, so what we have to do is jump in here. And until you get the angle right, then you can tilt forward to go on to the next one. Like that. Just want to make sure that's the right angle. Alright, now let's go. This could be quite a tedious process, but... If you get it done right... Oh! See? Like, you want to make sure you always get onto a platform first. Uh, I guess we have to use our grappling hook now. Okay, stop. And then position yourself right. And then let's go. I like how this music has the lost woods in the background. Have you guys ever notice that? Now let's proceed forward. Alright. Okay. Oh, 
awesome. That would be a long way down if we were to fall all of a sudden. So let's try not to let that happen. Alright. Let's go. Alright. It's getting closer. We are here! We got the great Deku leaf. Awesome. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the currents of the wind. Forsman, over here! Please, you must fly over there here to here using your Deku leaf. Alright. So we got an awesome date with Leaf now. Yeah! You can literally use Blast of Wind there. But anyways, you hold on to the Deku Leaf and the new bar up there where your hearts are. That's your magic and your ability to last up there for a while. So yep. it'll look like this. So whenever you feel like you're ready, then cancel. Oh, that's weird. I like how the grass points like an arrow. <laughs> Anyways, now we are available to go over here. To this area. So now we have to kind of use the cyclones to help propel us up there. So... But first, we have to make sure the wind is in the right direction. Uh, let me see here. Let me use this. And I'm pretty sure from here we can figure out which direction we need to go. So west. Because that definitely makes a huge difference. But first... We have to make sure we will be able to get up on that platform there. Do, do, do. Just waiting. Because <laughs> it will help lift us up. But I entrust a freaking leaf to get across? Nope. But we're doing it anyways. Or at least I don't think we need it for this one. We were able to just get up there. Oh, no! Ah, I totally thought we have enough magic! At least we started back where we were last time, but... Oh, I completely forgot about the magic. Usually we can get more magic with these thingies. Dang it, I need more magic though. Cut everything down. Yeah. Let's go back inside here. I think there was more in that area that we had. Man, like the direction of the wind was so perfect too. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, that scared me for a moment there. Ooh, do, do, do. Don't do that. And anyways, the wind is facing the same direction as before, so... Just go. So, anyways, we go all the way over here. All right. All right. So we're here now. Nice job. That was kind of a, a fail there for a moment. But in any case, to get to over there, we need to be able to um, use this as a propeller to get ourselves up. That's why they had it there in the first place. Because as you can see from here to there, you don't really have much of a direction to go.
kind of tricky. Don't measure it right. Uh, there you go. Just don't run into those things. Don't run into me! I warn you! Alright, we made it. Whew! That took a lot of time. <laughs> but anyways, we are now at the Forbidden Woods. So, from what I believe, we'll just end this episode here for today. And, um, things can get pretty complex from here. But anyways, let's go ahead and pause it here. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.